Hi. So I wrote this tonight, and it's something that I um, was maybe going to talk about. So I'm going to share it with you. Sometimes you want the closest people in your life to believe that you're running towards something. That you're always running towards something without question. I feel like when I surround myself with people like that, that I'm the happiest. When I surround myself with people who are really positive and believe in my best self. Um, because of course I've talked about it in many videos about how I'm always working to be my best self in every situation and just in life, just in my soul, my heart. And, um, you know, when I surround myself with people who also believe that, um, it's amazing. Like the, it's amazing the things that I can accomplish that I feel like I can accomplish because when you surround yourself by positive people and people who believe in the best of you, not just the best for you, it's life changing. Um, you know, I was coaching a client recently who I feel like part of the reason she wanted a life coach was because she, she wanted to surround herself with ambitious people because she was ambitious. She is ambitious. She's someone who starts to see a pattern in her life, recognizes what might be the problem and then goes for it, like goes toward fixing that or making a change in her lifestyle. And I think that it's when we surround ourselves with people who are like, yes, go do that. Or yes, be that person. Or yes, I support exactly who you are right now. We grow so much and we learn so much. And part of that is me just, I think that's part of me being like, the natural life coach that's within me to want to help support people and empower people. And at the same time, I just see it so regularly every day. You know, we all have friends that we call for certain things or another. Like maybe we have the friend that we know is just going to like hear us out. We have another friend that we might go to for a quote unquote logical device or advice. Or we might have that friend that we call just to like shoot the shit and not talk about anything serious or because we know we're going to get a certain response out of that friend. And I feel like the more and more that I surround myself with friends who support me in a positive way and challenge me as well in a loving, non, non attached way, unattached way. Um, we also, we also can grow pretty deeply so I was just thinking about that a lot today about, you know, making sure that I'm always surrounding myself by, you know, leapers, jumpers, um, the book by, uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. This is terrible. I should, it'll come to me, but leap, um, I actually ran a student leadership conference when I worked in higher ed based off this book where this is a theme and, um, leap stands for love, energy, audacity, and proof. It's a really great short, sweet, simple read. If you want like a, just a little quick kind of fire you up, um, funny, light, easy read. Um, I recommend leap, um, the full title I'll put below. But anyway, my point is, is that it talks just a lot about, um, leading with love, having energy and the audacity, and, and then also, you know, being the proof, like being authentic. There are a lot of ways you could interpret a lot of what the author says, but, um, but yeah, when you support yourself with people who, you know, want only, not just want for you to be the best, but like really believe that you are the best and believe that you are taking the path that is right for you. So 
and like, and that's why I love life coaching because it's not about what really, what I think is best for you. It's really what it's me supporting who you want to be in the world and how you want to move through it. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to take control. I'm not here to say this is right. This is wrong because I believe that every person ultimately knows it in their heart and has the ability and capacity to move toward it. And sometimes we need that little extra help from, you know, a good friend or, or a life coach or whatever. But, um, you know, I do think a key component to that is surrounding yourself by people who, um, believe you're running towards something. And, you know, we can all interpret each and each and every one of those words. So take it however you want to take it. Um, I was really inspired by my, one of my last clients who I was talking about earlier, um, and how she really took the bull by the horns and, uh, and I'm really excited to see what her future holds for her. Um, and I love working with people who want to be inspired or open to be inspired, think positively and optimistically about life and not necessarily the future, just the present. The present is so important and I have to remind myself every day to live in it, <laughs> to live in the present. It's not always that easy. You know, we hear it all the time. People talk about it all the time, live in the present, blah, 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 hippie, hippie, blah, blah. It's really hard to live sometimes. We live in a world that puts our ego first and we live in a world of fast paced, um, you know, not internet because my internet sucks right now, but technology and, you know, action packed, even, even myself, I, I don't even like older movies now. Like I love newer action pass packed movies where, you know, things are just going because my brain's been trained that way and it gets bored otherwise. And so even learning myself, I, it's like we have to learn how to slow ourselves down. And that's not really in our nature, and it's not really the tendency of the world and the tendency of our universe, as I just heard in a TED Talk, that our universe might be expanding faster than normal rates. But anyway, that's a whole other side story. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say for tonight. But, yeah, be you. You do you. I'll do me. Let's, like, co-create together. <laughs>